Supreme Court rules against Abercrombie and Fitch in hijab discrimination case. On Monday, the U.S. Supreme Court sided with a Muslim teen in her discrimination suit against Abercrombie and Fitch. Eight justices took her side, with Clarence Thomas the lone dissenter. Arch-conservative Antonin Scalia even wrote the majority opinion. In 2008, A&F refused to hire plaintiff Samantha Ilof because she wouldn't remove her hijab to comply with the store's look policy. But Ilof never uttered the magic words, religious accommodation, to invoke the 1964 Civil Rights Act. The court says she didn't have to. The Supreme Court's ruling is the latest blow to a brand that began selling outdoor wear in the 1890s, but in recent years has been known more for dubiously pornographic catalogs and an overabundance of muscular hunks in their store opening. Now, a and says they've turned over a new leaf, <laughs> ditching CEO Mike Jeffries last year along with his hunks. The look policy is gone too. So Ilof or whoever is welcome to work there. But with the Supreme Court victory under her belt, where will she apply next? Leave an insightful comment on Tomonews.net and you could win up to $500 every month.